Welcome, how are you? For the first time in 13 months, Good to see you. so many middle and high school students in Washington went back to schools. And then you can go out to the field? It's enough to bring this mother to tears. No, I'm really excited for her, but she's a sixth grader and she just, this is her first day of middle school. It's not just parents feeling strong emotions. At Lake Washington High School in Kirkland, 11th grader Cyrus Chapman has been counting down the days. Yeah, I've been pretty anxious to get back to class. Um, you know, it's nice being around students, things like that. It's hard online to connect with people for sure. So this is a big step for you? Definitely, yeah, yeah. School during a pandemic is drastically different. Welcome, welcome. Have you done your health screening? The principal at Jane Adams Middle School in Northeast Seattle welcomes students who then head straight to the field, where they are split into groups to make sure they have completed their health screenings before entering the building. Masks are a must, so is spacing. We are acknowledging for staff and students, this is quite a shift. Um, the, the emotions are gonna run high today. It's returning to the classroom, so many can be very stressful. Dr. Greg Jantz is an expert on anxiety and depression. He says because so much has changed since kids were last inside classrooms, returning may further stress our students. We may suspect to see some high anxiety uh, with our kids, they need reassurance. They need a positive word from us. We are messaging here at Jane Adams. We're going to be okay. We're going to figure this out. We have small groups of students in classrooms with teachers who care about them. Come on over. Do you know where you're going? The realities of a return to school, unlike any we have seen in our lifetimes. Dr. Jantz also says allow for some transition time. Give it 30 days for your kids to get used to being back in school. He also says give them plenty of hugs and physical attention since they aren't allowed to get that from their friends at school due to COVID protocols. While well, kids head back to class in Kent, police there are reminding drivers to be safe and mind the speed limit. Kent police say school zone speed cameras are being enforced at this point, and the school zone speed limit is 20 miles per hour in Kent. And the police department says the cost of a ticket is 136 bucks for a driver caught on camera going up to nine miles over the speed limit. And it jumps to $248 if a camera shows the driver going 10 miles or over that limit. And Jamie, with that said, police in Lake Forest Park, just north of Seattle, Seattle say they have already handed out thousands of tickets to drivers speeding in school zones. Police believe that due to the pandemic, drivers have simply gotten out of the habit of checking for active school zones. Cities all over the state are getting the message out to drivers to slow down as more and more kids return to in-person learning. It was